These Rugged Ridge 3.5 inch dual beam round LED lights with mounting brackets are for those of you that have a 2007 and up JK and are looking to change out your factory fog lights to something that's a little bit different. Now, the nice thing about your factory fog lights is that they are a factory fog beam, so they're designed to be a very low and wide light that hits below your headlights on the highway. These lights are not going to be a fog beam, so you're not going to be able to use the forward facing light in the same way that you would use that factory fog light. However, because this is a dual beam, it's going to also have an amber marker light, and that is going to be a light that you can use all the time. So if that's what you're after, if you're after something that's gonna give you a different look, that's gonna give you that amber marker light, and instead of a fog beam, which is useful as a fog beam, you're going to have something that while you can't use it with oncoming traffic, is going to be a lot brighter and a much broader beam than that fog beam would be. Now, if you are looking for something like that, this here is going to be a really nice one-stop shop. It's going to be a package that's going to include the lights and the brackets. You know everything's gonna to work together and they're going to bolt right into your factory bumper. Now, they're gonna bolt right into your factory plastic bumper. If you have a 10th anniversary, one of the special edition Jeeps that comes from the factory with a steel bumper, you're not going to be able to use these as a bolt-in application. The only additional thing that you're going to do if you have one of those plastic bumpers, again, these will bolt right in there, is you're going to have to do the wiring. And because this is a three wire light, you're going to have a power wire for your marker light, a power wire for your forward facing light, and a ground wire, you're gonna to have to get a specialty wiring harness, or of course, if you are comfortable with automotive wiring, you can go ahead and build yourself a wiring harness for these lights. So in this kit, you are going to get two three and a half inch round LED lights from Rugged Ridge. These are the newer style lights from Rugged Ridge, which have a plastic housing instead of an aluminum housing. Now, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's going to be a little bit less expensive to produce, a little bit less expensive to purchase. It's gonna hold up a little better. If you were to scratch the powder coat off the aluminum, you could get some oxidation. With this, of course, you're not going to have any of those issues. The inside of this light is going to be different as well. This is actually going to be a five LED light. The four around the outside are going to be your forward facing lights and they produce a fairly broad spot beam is how I would describe it. It's not specifically a pencil spot beam that's gonna throw light really far down the road in a very small pattern, but it's not a extremely diffused floodlight either, so it's somewhere in the middle there. And that's what those four LEDs do. Then you have the center LED, that's going to be your amber LED, that's going to produce your marker light, and you do have a divider between the other four lights that works almost like a fiber optic to give you a little bit of a crosshair look, which is actually a really nice look in my opinion. So that's about the lights. The brackets themselves, they are going to allow you to bolt those lights directly in place of those factory fog lights. Again, if you have one of those factory plastic bumpers, and these lights do come with a connector, which will make it very easy to unplug the lights and replug them in if you need to. However, that connector only carries the two wires that run the forward facing light. You also have this third wire here for that marker light that you're gonna have to figure out how to wire in as well. And if you wanna make that a quick disconnect, get a spade connector so that you can disconnect your lights, disconnect your bumper if you need to remove it for service at any point. So for install, I'm gonna go with the two out of three wrenches for these lights. That is because of the wiring that's involved. As I said before, if you have a plastic factory front JK bumper, these are gonna bolt directly in place and getting the lights actually installed is a very, very simple process. However, the wiring is going to be where things get a little bit more complicated. Like I said, you can buy some three wire wiring harnesses that will run a light like this. Some of those are going to come with a three position switch so that you can have the marker light on, the forward facing lights on, or of course an off position. If you are somebody who's comfortable with automotive wiring, you can make your own wiring harness. You can power the marker light off of your parking lights and the forward facing lights off of your high beams or a switch. You have a lot of flexibility if you are building your own wiring harness. So whether you're building one or you're buying one, it is going to require some splicing, uh, possibly some soldering, of course, running the wires, getting the switch in place. If you're not comfortable with all of that, of course, it's okay to take your Jeep to a shop and have them wire these lights up as well. As far as the installation itself goes, the easiest way to do this is going to be removing that factory front bumper. So you're going to remove the fog light socket from the fog light housing. You're gonna unbolt the four bolts that are holding your factory bumper in place on either side. Remove that bumper. Of course, you'll have to get the splash guard out of the way also. That'll make it really, really easy to unbolt the four screws that are holding that factory fog light housing in place and get rid of it. 
and then go ahead and bolt these brackets in place as well as your new lights. Once all of that is done, you can reinstall the bumper on the Jeep and then get to wiring. These lights and brackets come in at right around $175, and I do think that's gonna be a pretty good price. I think that the lights you're getting are a high-quality, multi-purpose light, especially the fact that they're a dual-beam light makes them multi-purpose, and you know that you're gonna get a bracket that's going to not only work with your factory bumper, but also with the lights you're buying, so you're not trying to piece together a kit that may or may not work together. So if you're somebody who either doesn't use your fog lights a lot, doesn't like the beam pattern that you, you get from them, is looking to upgrade your lighting but keep everything looking factory, I think this is going to be a really nice option. I really like the fact that this has a marker light and also a forward facing light. So if you're looking for a light and bracket kit to swap out those factory fog lights, I definitely recommend taking a look at this kit from Rugged Ridge and you can find it right here at extremeterrain.com.